Hello, welcome to my class. Today I would like to show you how to install two Cplex. Now, Cplex is a licensed software of IBM. Uh, we can call it as IBM iLog Cplex. And uh, I'm using IBM iLog Cplex 12.6.8, sorry, 12.8 version. And uh, I will use a Python for my purposes to connect the Python with the uh, Cplex. Now, what is a Cplex? Cplex is a solver. When we are learning this machine learning, deep learning, etc. Uh, in the machine learning and the deep learning, optimizations and the, or the role of the solver is very, very important. So in the machine learning, you will get one part is, you know, to fit an algorithm when you are using any algorithm. For instance, support vector machines. In the support vector machines, you will find we are using a quadratic equations and our duty or our purpose is to solve that quadratic equation successfully. So we need a solver and uh, different solvers are available. For instance, IBM iLog Cplex, you can download the academic version. In the academic versions, uh, you will find that is it is limited to uh, 1000 variables uh, most probably you just check the documentations of the IBM I love Cplex and in the full versions you know you can uh, use a number of variables alternatively you can use uh, Julia Julia is an open source solver you will get jump IPOPT CBC CLP etc now these solvers we will use to solve you know the uh, uh linear uh, objective functions of the non-linear objective functions so today's class is dedicated to uh, you know two cplex two cplex is, is basically a uh, wrapper this wrapper will connect the python with the uh, cplex now if you check here i am using python 3.6 and this Python 3.6, I need to connect with uh, Cplex 12.8 version using two Cplex. So first of all, you need to install Python 3.6. Then you need to go to uh, Anaconda prompt. And in the Anaconda prompt, uh, then you need to install the two Cplex. So I will show you how to install the two Cplex. Let us start. So this is the Anaconda prompt. So first of all, I will check uh, use this command python so you will give you will go to this python and this i'm using python 3.6.0 and here you can write this import do cplex so that you could check whether it is pre-installed or not so you will see there is module not found error means you need to install the do cplex so let us exit uh, from the uh, python and what I will do, I will use pip install. Okay. So it will install the Duciplex from the uh, internet or the repo repository. So it will take a little bit of time to start. So it is collecting Duciplex and uh, it is checking. And then it's going to the installation part. See the Duciplex has been installed. So what is the version of this Duciplex? 2.20.204. Now let us go to this Python uh, command prompt. Uh, from the command prompt, so you will go to the Python now. Info Duciplex. So see no module named Duciplex. It is it is given. Okay, I, I, I have mentioned that is this is type of mistake, so this is it. See, it is taken. Now, let us quit from here because our installation is not completed yet. So, what we need to do, see, I have mentioned here you need to go to the directory, this directory. Now, I am considering this, you have installed this, it is 12.8 in a price 
and this is this is the path you need to find out you need to go to cplex then python then 3.6 then i'm using this you know uh what i should say the 64 bit so it will be x64 a window 64 bit and let me see let me show you how to go ahead go to this path so cd so cd we are changing the directory to f now what i will do i will copy it so you have to be very careful here or you can write this one in data let's see whether you can take it or not okay so you are now in this uh, uh, folder so i need to uh, check the uh, files in this directory so you will see this setup uh, dot file so what you need to do you need to type python setup dot file then install you should press enter so it is basically now it's connecting this do cplex with the cplex okay now your installation is over so what i will do now i will quit from here okay and uh, what i will do i will i will close this window and i would like to start you know the coding part so let us let us go to because it, from here you can start the spider and you can start the spider so once the spider will be started so you can you can get here how to you know kind of the uh, spider So you need to share the screen uh, with the student so that the students can uh, see it. Now let us let us discuss some things uh, regarding this new CPLEX characteristics. Okay. So if you in uh, you know in Google, if you type this do CPLEX Python documentation, you will get this reference means uh, the do CPLEX uh, reference manual. So if you click it, the first link. So the do cplex uh, references will be open. Now, why do cplex is very very important. Now, this uh, this uh, presentations is dedicated to you know uh, mainly the installations of the do cplex. Now, in this next uh, presentations, I will show you how to uh, means uh, use the do cplex using the spider. And when you are using the spider, in the spider, certain advantages you will get for this do cplex. Now, what the do cplex advantage is? Now, first of all, when you are, you know, uh, writing any code or when you are preparing a mathematical model, you will find that is you need to improve this if then, you know, uh, the conditions. If this expression is true, then this will happen. This type of conditions you need to include mathematically. Now, one popular approach in industry is known as the big M formulations. In the big M formulations, you know, a large value of big M, that is say, let us consider five nines, nine, 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 and nine, or four nines, nine, 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 you are considering or you are assuming, then this big number you will use in the big M formulations to implement this if then condition. Let us consider if a decision variable is equal to one, okay, because decision variable can take only either zero or one value. So if the decision variable is equal to one, then a condition will be implemented. Alternatively, with the help of the do cplex, what you can do, you can use, you know, uh, the uh, a method. It is known as indicator constant. Now, do cplex give you a very simple way to implement the indicator constant. The indicator constants instead of the big M, you have to write or you have to you can use this indicator constants directly. And at the same time, it is given 
uh, you know, if then uh, conditions also. It is given the inbuilt the do means uh, dictionary. So a lot of uh, facilities, you know, in uh, Python coding you will find when you are using the do wrapper wrapper with the cplex. Now, this is good uh, starting for the beginners to use the do cplex. Let me close this one. And let me share the the spider screen also. So that we could get it. So, so here I have written uh, the you know duciplex. Uh, I've implemented the duciplex from duciplex dot mp model mixed integer programming model. In, import the model because when we are using the mixed integer programming model, we need to you know instantiate this model. And here I'm going to implement the uh, a very well-known uh, vehicle routing problem of the Solomon benchmarking. The problem number is C102 underscore 200. C102 is basically the problem number 200, I think, the vehicle capacity. So let me show you here the import. Import do cyclex. So it is taking. So hopefully it will work. Let us run this. I'm uh, fixing this button there it is here. So run. So it will see this your CPLEX will start. The CPLEX is working here. You can check. See you are using the you know branch and bound and it is it is plotting and here these all these values you are getting from the directly cyplex means cyplex solving what is this do cyplex is doing it's it's working as a wrapper it is interacting this python i'm using the spider this i it, it means connecting the uh, python with uh, the uh, you know cyplex solver and do cyplex that's why you can consider as a you know wrapper so what I'm doing, I'm loading the .csv file with the help of the pandas data frame, and I'm passing this information to the CPLEX solver, and CPLEX solver is solving it, and then after solving, populating the data here. So that's all uh, for today. We will learn more uh, about the uh, do CPLEX, how to use this do CPLEX and the CPLEX. So if you face any problem in installing the uh, you know cplex and do cplex please uh, send your queries to me i will share my email id or you can ask this question what you need to do you have to keep in mind install the cplex 12.8 academic versions you can download from this ibm and after that install python 3.6 then from the anaconda prompt use p to install do cplex and after that what you have to do you have to just change directory then you have to run the setup file setup.py from that uh, directory so that you could connect the do cplex with the with the cplex solver thank you very much for attending the class